Hey guys, what's up? It's Courtney and welcome back. Today I'm doing another testing out BuzzFeed food videos. I absolutely love these. You guys have given me such amazing feedback on them since I first started this series. So today I'm testing out another three recipes for you guys. And if you aren't already, please, please, please make sure to subscribe. You could click the button right here and it literally makes my day. I love you guys so much and let's get into this video. guys, I'm here with my friend Aaron. Hello. And uh, that way you guys have a second opinion on all these recipes. So we're gonna try out this first one and let you know how it tastes. It's too hot. <laughs> it's hot. It's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Looks super greasy. I feel like the bacon's crunchy and the potatoes aren't that crunchy. This yeah, piece is not that hot. Cheese makes it really good. So these are pretty easy to make. They took about 30 minutes total. I would give this like an eight out of 10. I'd give it a nine. Do you actually like them? I actually really do like them a lot. They're good. I would eat this whole plate. So these fried mashed potato balls were super hard and messy to make. I literally only made two. I had so much mashed potatoes and it just didn't work. I think I had not enough mashed potatoes to egg ratio because it was really runny and theirs was like a lot more formed. Was it bad? It's really good. No, it's not. It's not bad. It's tasty. I actually think I'm going to finish this because I like it, but I don't think I would make it again just because how messy it was, or I would use more mashed potatoes probably. It's, just good, it's just good quality food. <laughs> you are not being serious. I'd probably give this about an 8 because the other ones are better. <laughs> you liked the other ones better? <laughs> yeah, I did actually. I actually, I feel like it's a close tie, for real. Would you tell me if it tasted bad? No. No? I mean, yeah. <laughs> just me this time. These videos take quite a while so Aaron had to go to work but um, I'm on this pizza and mine kind of looks more like a calzone to be honest. I had some technical difficulties with this and you know it's partly my fault. This was a little bit more trial and error. So a few problems I ran into was number one I couldn't find actual paper cone cups at like Publix or Walmart so I don't know where else you're supposed to get those. Um, I thought they would be pretty common, but I just ended up doing them out of paper plates, so mine were a bit bigger um, than they usually are supposed to be. And the last problem I had is I had trouble with the dough sticking to the tin foil. I missed the part in the BuzzFeed video where they sprayed it with like Pam or something. Um, so make sure you spray yours, but I was able to salvage this one. 
that's not bad at all. It tastes like a pizza. The only problem with this is it might be a fun activity if you have kids or something, but otherwise just make a normal pizza. I feel like it's saves you the hassle of all the little cones and whatever. So I would just make a normal pizza. So I give this one a seven out of 10. All right, so those are the three recipes. Let me know which one looked the best to you. And if you missed any of my last videos, they're on both sides of me. Or if you're on a mobile device or an iPad, you can click the I up in the corner to access them. And I will see you guys next time. Have an awesome week and I'll see you soon. Bye.